my beautiful friends and welcome back to my channel. This is Nova Gnome Creations and I'm Nova and I'm so happy to see you today. I hope that you are doing well and I hope that you and your loved ones are taking care of the best that you can. I hope that you guys had a fantastic weekend and I hope that you are ready and recharged and rested. The three R's. <laughs> and I hope that you guys are ready to take on the week. Um, it is Monday so I it's feeling like a pretty good Monday actually um so far I've just been kind of I I woke up a little early I probably woke up at like 3 30 and laid in bed reading on my phone uh, and then I got up and I made a cup of coffee I got some creamer uh or not creamer I got some whipped cream from Target um that is maple flavored and it is really good 10 out of 10 recommend if you guys like whipped cream. I love to do when I do hot coffee sometimes do like some whipped cream on top. Just makes it feel like special and I don't know it just like instantly perks you up. It feels like a nice treat even though it's just like your cup of you know your more morning cup of coffee. Throw a little whipped cream on the top of it especially if you can get flavored whipped cream which um, Target and Aldi both have really good flavored whipped creams. Just saying if you are wanting to pick yourself up some. Um, they also have salted caramel, which we got too. The salted caramel is also really good. Um, and what else did they have? They have pumpkin spice right now. Uh, I didn't get that one because I couldn't buy like all of them. So I got two of them. Um, they also have marshmallow, which when they are not doing like a seasonal flavor, the marshmallow one I've gotten before, um, that's like one of their like regular flavors. I think the only uh, regular flavor that's like not just regular whipped cream flavored and it is fantastic also. So uh, I can't remember what Aldi's had. Might've been marshmallow also can't remember. Anyways, um, today I'm going to be showing you guys some tips for Amigurumi um, accessory storage. Uh, so specifically, I'm going to be showing you guys how I store like my eyes and felt shapes and things like that that I use to um, accessorize Amigurumi. Um, I recently found new storage containers that I really, really love. So I've been switching over into these new storage containers and I wanted to share them with you guys. So I have one right here um, that I have not filled yet. I actually was specifically waiting to do this video before I do because I wanted to leave the tag on here and show you what it is. So these are from Hobby Lobby. This one is in the um, yarn section or the needle working section. Um, there is an aisle that has like crochet threads and then it also has um, like notions and embroidery floss and things like that. That is where I found these. But I did notice last time I was there, they have these containers, exact same containers in multiple sections. They change the label on them though. So this label you will notice says, what does it say? Artist, needlework organizer, 17 fixed compartments, store beads, sequins, buttons, embroidery floss, safety pins, uh, and other needleworking supplies. So this one like specifically has a label on it for needleworking. However, I found the same container in the craft section uh, with a different label on it, but it was the same container and the same price. So um, if you don't see it in your needleworking section, that doesn't mean you guys don't have them. Maybe just try looking around the craft section. Um, but these are only $2.99. I had been looking at containers like these on like Amazon and stuff, wanting to get some, and they were a lot more than $2.99. So I was really excited when I found these. So they have all of these like smaller sized compartments and then they have one bigger compartment. Uh, but I wanted to show you guys what this looks like and show you what the tag looks like and everything. Um, but now I will show you what they look like with stuff in them and kind of how I'm using them. So I really like the way that these stack up nicely and you can see what everything is. You could even put labels on them so that you don't have to pull everything out. This is so much better than the way that I had it where I had to pull out like everything to find what I was looking for. So for example, I still have some done like this and I do like these, don't get me wrong, but I like the new way better. So this was the biggest one that I had. This is just like the containers that they come in when you get them from Amazon. This is the biggest one I had. So I always tried to like shift them into this so that I could just pull out one container. 
The smaller ones, though, frequently come in containers this size, and the backs don't actually fit in those containers. So I bought these from the Dollar Tree, and that's what I've been putting my backs in. So if you are using these, this is a good idea. These come in packs of, I believe, three from the Dollar Tree. So um, they come in these type of containers. Or if you get like the big sparkly eyes, um, they come in these kind of containers, which I actually have um, River Rocks in that I use to weigh down plushies now. Um, because I transferred them all into the other container. So here's what my drawer now looks like. Um, I haven't put all of these into my new containers yet because I wanted to show you guys what they looked like with the labels on and everything. But I am going to be transferring the last of these, um, you know, if they all fit, over to my new containers. Um, I actually had gone through and painstakingly sorted all of these like kawaii styled eyes into here and like done these differently. Um, I've replaced these like smaller size just black ones multiple times and then I would transfer them into this container because I prefer this container um, until I found that other one because I like to have the backs in the container with the um, eyes. Also I like to have as many of my eyes in one container as I can at least for like the same size that way if I'm looking to make a plushie or something I can look at the same size eyes and see my different varieties of eyes so um I really like the new containers because of that so here is my container that has like my larger safety eyes and sparklier safety eyes so it opens up just with um this type of a clasp See if I can focus it for you on that. It wants to focus on the eyes. <laughs> so this type of a clasp. Um, and then what I did was I went through and I put really, really big ones in here since I don't have as many of those. Um, and some of my other ones that have different styles of backs have like their own slots. Um, and then these ones that I have a lot of I just put little notes in here that say the size. So like those are 12s. And what I did was I put, for the 12s since they're smaller, I put the backs and the eyes in there. But I went ahead and put the sparkly ones in here for these ones just to keep that same type of eye together. Um, for these ones, I put all of the eyes in one part and then the backs in another. There's a little bit of overflow of eyes into that one. Um, that's for my 18 millimeters. And then what's this last one? 16 millimeters. I have eyes in here and backs in here. Um, and then I actually went through and separated out all of the sparkles. Took a little bit of time, but now I have them in here. Like this one says that these are 18s. Um, and I have them divided into little baggies so that when I go to use one of these types of eyes, um, I can go through, grab the eyes, grab the backs, and then I can go through here and pick out what color I want to do. Um, they come like all mixed together. So this is a much more organized way to do it. And then same up here, I've got backs and eyes separated. And then right here I have some like little weird ones like these sunglass safety eyes and these like kind of googly eye safety eye type things. I don't really need to open this one, but speaking of googly eyes, I actually have um, one container that I went through and separated my googly eyes. So I have them separated by size. Um, these bigger ones, some of them glow in the dark. So the yellowy tinged ones that you see, these actually have glow in the dark ones. Um, but I had like a set that had some glow in the dark ones and they also, um, the smaller sizes also went along with another pack I had, um, the size of those ones. So I just kind of mixed them together because um, there's only a few of the glow in the dark ones. And then I have the colored ones. Um, I put them in line with the same size. So like these are the same size as these. These are the same size as these. Um, these came from the Dollar Tree a while back, so they might still have them, but I went through and separated them by size. 
I still have plenty of space. Um, my idea for this container is that this will be eyes that you do not safety eye on. So these have to be glued on or attached in that kind of way. Um, and then same goes for this one. This is my organizer for my felt eyes. So I have pre-made felt eyes and I also have um, kind of an assembly station to make custom felt eyes. So I have like the irises and um, the white parts of the eye. I have some eyelashes, um, which I use to do like closed eyes for like the little eyelash kind of look. I have some eyes with eyelashes and without eyelashes. Um, and then I also have some eyes with the little like white, like, you know, eye catches, uh, light catches already on them. Um, and then over here I have hearts and stars, um, and then larger stars. These ones aren't really for eyes usually, but, um, they're just, just stars. Um, so what I will say, just like a little tip, if you're doing felt, these I ordered off of, um, oh gosh, Amazon. Um, I would recommend if you're going to do shapes and uh, with your Cricut or order them, make sure that you get a nice thick felt. Um, these thin ones, when you go to hot glue them on, or if you were to super glue them on, the glue shows through them. And that's kind of makes them really difficult to use because you don't want glue to show through them. Um, you'll notice these little ones here, these little hearts. My sister cricketed those for me and she actually put um, that heat transfer backing on them for me. Um, and they're thicker and so I can use glue with these and the glue does not show through. So just a little tip. So I hope that you guys found that informative and helpful. I know one of the things for me since I started doing amigurumi that I have been really focused on was trying to find a better way to store eyes um, because safety eyes are so important for amigurumi, but they don't come in ways that are very easy to like sift through them and like see what you have and store them in a nice way in my opinion um, and I wanted them all laid out in a way that I could really see what I have so a lot of times when you order them from Amazon um, and I think the same for most places you're going to order online from they either come in little plastic containers or they come in bags like little plastic bags um, I know that my I've had several that just came in little plastic bags and then I put them into little containers um, and that does not work for me I want to have everything together I want the safety eye backs to be with the safety eyes so that I don't gotta try to figure out what size goes with them um, and like I said I like to be able to just see what I, see all of the ones I have laid out and I think this is like a great way to do it so I'm hoping that this helps you guys also with your amigurumi accessory storage um, and like I said it's so easy to store these containers they stack nicely you don't have to have them in drawers if you don't have drawer space available you know you can put them on a shelf you can put them wherever um, and they're easy to store and you can see what they are without even like getting each individual container out and everything so I really like them. Uh, and then I also wanted to remind you guys that I am wearing this pink hat uh, in honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So that is this month. Uh, and I hope that you will see this pink hat and it will remind you guys to get your boobies checked. Um, do your self checks, feel around, see if you feel anything that feels a little strange, maybe you need to get checked out. Um, and if you are of the age or the risk factors that you should be getting a mammogram, that you will go ahead and schedule that mammogram. I hope you guys are doing awesome. Let me know if you guys did anything fun this weekend and I will see you guys later. Bye guys.